Hey everybody, Eric here from the MMG. Welcome to our channel. We keep these videos short and sweet to save you time, so please make sure you hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Today we're making a Arma Reforger dedicated server using Steam CMD on a Windows server. I am not going to show you how to do ports. You're going to have to figure that out on your own. I do have a video on how to open ports on your Windows firewall, which can assist in one level. You're also going to have to open ports on your router firewall if you want to share the server publicly to people outside of your local network. All right, first thing we need to do is download Steam CMD. If you already have it downloaded, you do not have to do this step, but we're going to pretend like you don't. So you just need to go to Google or whatever your main search engine is, but Google's my recommended. Type in Steam CMD all together, just like that. Hit enter. It's going to be your top link here, Valve Developer Community. You want to hit that. You're going to see download downloading Steam CMD is one of the top links. There's a Windows and a Linux version. We're doing Windows today, so we're going to click on Windows. And then up at the very top of this screen, you'll see another option to download. Click on that. That's going to download the zip folder for you to wherever your downloads go. Once you have that downloaded, you just want to extract it. I recommend you put it in its own folder somewhere where it's easy for you to locate. I have mine directly on my C drive. So here's what my folder looks like here on my C drive. And you should all, if this is the first time you installed it, all you should see is a Steam CMD EXE. You just want to double click on that to run it. It's going to download some files, update some files. It's going to fill your folder up, which is what you want. Eventually you're going to get to a command prompt like we are here. And now we just need to log in, log in space anonymous, A N O N Y M O U S. Hit enter. It's going to log you in anonymously. Some games do require you to own the game, but and then in that case, you have to log in with your steam ID and your password. This is a heads up. This game though does not. Now, once you're at another command prompt and you're logged in successfully, you need to type in app app underscore update all together and then just space. And then you need the ID number for Arma Reforger. Now, these steps are also how you update the server. Once you have it up and running, you follow these steps right here. And this will update the server software when there's a newer version out. So the number is 1874952. Once you have that in, you just hit enter, and it's going to start downloading the files. We're updating the files if you already have them downloaded, and you just need to wait. This is, this is dependent on your computer speed and your internet speed, so it could take a little bit of time if you have a slower connection. All right, once the download is finished, you'll be at a successful app, and it's the app number there fully installed, and you'll be back in Steam Prompt. Now you can just type in exit and hit enter. Now you want to go back to your folder where you put Steam CMD. And you're going to look in this folder and you're going to find an, a folder called Steam Apps. Go into that. Then you want to find Common. Then here are your dedicated servers that you've downloaded. If you're like me, I've done many videos. I have a lot. If this is your only game, then you should only have one folder here called Arma Reforger Server. That's what we're looking for. Double click on that. You're going to go into it. And then this is going to be the main folder. This is where you're going to actually execute the server and everything. And to do that, we're going to make a .bat file is what they call it. So you want to actually right click on your folder here in the empty space and go to new. And you want to create a text document. And we're going to name it start server. And you're going to delete out the .text because this is going to be a .bat. So .bat. And hit enter. It's going to ask if you want to make sure you want to do this. Hit yes. Now, if it still says dot bat dot text, you need to come up here to view on your folder and you need to put here file name extensions. You need to put a check mark right there. So by default, it's unchecked like like that. And then you see how you don't see the extension down here. You want to put a check there. Then you're able to change the file name extension within the name when you change it. That's how we made it a dot bat. We're going to actually right click in here and create another folder or another file, sorry, text doc. And we're going to call this config.json and delete the dot text out of there. Hit enter. Hit yes. All right, once you've created both your start server.bat file and your config.json file, next we want to actually go to the docs folder and then execute this dot bat that they have. This is going to take you to their wiki page. And this has a lot of great information. At the very top, under server hosting, is how to forward ports. This is what you would do. You've got to forward ports on your router and your Windows firewall. Otherwise, nobody's going to be able to connect to your server. 
So here's some guides for that. If you have issues with that, if you can't see your server, if other people can't join, it's almost 99% of the time it's because the port is blocked. So look here for instructions on there. I'll also have a link in the video description for how to do it on your Windows firewall. I made a video for that, so you can find that in the video description. What we're doing here is this is basically all the instructions that I've taken you through so far. Plus, they have some setup parameters. So when you scroll down here to startup parameters, hit the um, server config button. And then here's the ports that you need to open right here for your, for your own knowledge. So these are the three ports. And then you want to scroll down to the example script, which is on down towards the very bottom right there, this right here. You're going to want to copy and paste all this. So copy. And then come back to your folder here on your server, your uh, config.json file. You want to edit that again. All right, and I've already got mine configured here. As you can see, you don't really have to put a bind address in here. If you do, it would probably be your internal IP address of the server or your external IP address. Your public address is your external IP address. You can just Google that. What is my IP? And it will, most of the time, the first link will pop up and show you what your external IP adds. You do need to set the bind ports here and all your public ports, and these are all set to default right now. You have to fill those in, though. They'll be blank. You got to put in, I, I'd recommend you put in everything here that I have filled in with your own settings, an admin password. Uh, this right here is where you name the server, your server name right here. So mine's MMG Reforger. Uh, if you don't want a password on the server itself, leave it blank. If you want a password in here, put password in there there we go your admin password goes right here this is for admins and then the admins you can actually put in their steam GUID this is how they can control the server uh, the scenario you're gonna need this this is the, probably the hardest thing you're gonna have to do because you have to pull this from their wiki so go back to the wiki where we were where we pulled this code and you're gonna scroll up and up here is Keep going, keep going. You're going to see a scenario list right here. Here you go, scenario IDs. There's different ones for different versions. Probably want the latest version that you're on. And then here's the official ones, and then here's some workshop scenarios that you can add. So whichever one you want, you just want to grab the config portion of it here. So all this code right here, for instance, I think I did this top one. So grab all this code right here. You're going to hit Control-C and copy it. You're going to go back to that JSON file right here, and you're going to paste it in here just like I've done. Make sure you have your marks in there and, and your comma at the end and everything. And then you can set max players. This is visible on the server browser. True makes it visible. False means it's not visible. Uh, these you have to set. View distance. If you don't set these, the server will error out. This minimum grass distance is purposely wrong. Do not set yours to 160. I'm going to show you why in a second. 150 is the max. Network uh, view distance. 1500 is nice. Uh, and then all these, you, just up to you, whatever you want. There's going to be a mod section right here on the default one. Delete all that out. You don't want mods unless you're running mods. So we're not running mods. I don't like mods. They mess everything up, in my opinion. The mods can be great. Don't get me wrong. They're just, as a, man, as a server manager, it's a lot of extra work for you. And so I tend not to do mods. So remove that. And then once you have everything set, make sure you go file and save, okay? Because you want to save all your changes. Now you've just edited your JSON. And we want to go back to the folder. And now let's take a look at the start server.bat. So we're going to edit this. And we're going to probably just type this in just because it's easiest. Okay, we're not doing anything major here. First thing you want to do is call the exe. So arma reforger server.exe, which is in this folder right here. The, the exe executable. That's why we don't have to point to it, it's, in, it's already in the same folder. The config file is next, so didn't do a dash config. And you need to put in here period forward slash config.json so it knows that it's this config.json that we've been editing. And it's in the same folder right here. So make sure you have that right, otherwise it won't work. I was having issues with that. I didn't quite couldn't get it right. Then I figured out it was my JSON. But anyways, I'm gonna show you that. Once you have all this set, make sure you hit file save as on your, your dot bat, right? And now we're going to execute it. And I purposely, like I said, I left it wrong so it would air. Let me show you what happens. Because when you load your server and it crashes, it just closes. You don't have any idea unless you're amazingly fast to see what happened. So how we're going to fix this, we're going to do one thing first. And this is a good tip for anybody that's doing a dot .bat. Is do a cmd space forward slash k. Okay. 
put that at the bottom of your code and that will keep the window open. Let me show you what that does. And I'll show you why it's important. Now we're going to run the dot bat with the slash k and watch it doesn't close. There's my slash k command and now I can look up here and see what happened. Look. I can see why it crashed and what happened. And it's right here. That parameter I set for grass maximum allowed is 150. Remember how I set it had it set to 160? This is very important for troubleshooting. Putting this dot command slash k in there is going to help you. So now let's go back to our config Dot JSON where I purposely messed it up and we're gonna make it back to 150 that way we don't crash the server and if, if you're crashing it's something I can almost guarantee you it's something in this window right here and it took me a long time to get mine right so make sure you're typing it all right you got your commands in right and all that stuff there we go you see it's still it's still running it didn't crash out that time it's gonna take a little bit for your server to start up don't panic give it time it's got to create the files load the server and all that jazz but you should be good. Your server should be up. Now you should be able to find it in the server browser. Like I said, if you cannot find it in the server browser, you have not forwarded a port correctly. Go back to their guide on their wiki and follow that through. All right, hopefully this video helped you out. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for more great content. Thanks for watching, everybody.